everyone, so we just finished Shauna's foundation and I showed you how to do a really beautiful, natural looking foundation on her. And what I really want to do is I saw this picture in a magazine and I loved it. I love the 60s cat eye because they think it's always modern, it always looks good, uh, it's natural but it makes a statement. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to get that eye right now. I'm going to modernize it just a teeny bit with adding a little bit of the shimmer powder onto her uh, lids. And how I'm going to do that is take a little bit of the shimmer powder, take my brush, wet my brush. As I've shown you before, I always wet my brush for shimmer powders because they get really, really messy and you don't want them to fall all over the face. And also if you wet them, you get a much more definition with the color. So I'm going to take a little bit on here with my powder puff. I always use a powder puff in my hand like this. It's just nice because when you start to rest, close your eyes, against the person's face, you're not getting uh, your greasy hands all over there and ruining the uh, foundation that you just spent all that time doing. So I'm going to concentrate just going back and forth with the color just on the lid for now. We'll do the other side. And you can see how beautiful and shimmery that is. It took me a long time to figure out how to get these eyeshadows so shimmery because I used to see celebrities with this and people on television with this amazing shimmer on their eyes and I didn't know how to do it. I kept buying all different products and then one day I realized it's because I'm not wetting my brush and that's really what just kind of activates that extra shimmer. So now I'm gonna come back to this side, put a little bit more on this side and go ahead and uh, start brushing it up and out. And because this is a really simple color, you can go ahead and put it over almost the entire lid. You just don't want to bring it up to the brows. Okay, so open your eyes. There you go. We see that really pretty shimmery color. Okay, secondly for the 60s, we really did a little bit of a stronger brow. Okay, and as you can see, Shauna's got really nice shaped brows. We just need to go ahead and fill in a little bit more in that outer corner. So I'm going to come in with my Maybelline pencil. These are some of my favorites. These have been around since probably the 50s. And I buy these in every color and I always keep them in my kit. What I do when I'm filling in an eyebrow is start from the highest point of the brow and then work my way down, filling it in that way. I always use a color that's a little bit lighter because I don't like people's eyebrows to be too dark. I find that when you put a dark color on the eyebrow, it looks really, really harsh. So even though this color looks a little bit silly right now, you'll see what's going to happen when I go ahead and uh, fix it up. I'm going to take a brush that looks like this, and I'm going to take a color eyeshadow that's got a lot of gray in it. It's going to be like a taupey color. So something along these lines here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my brush, mix it with a little bit of this brown, and then I'm going to start at the highest point and cover it just like that. And then I'm going to start working it into the rest of the brow. You don't want to start here when you're working on an eyebrow and the reason is usually this is already the darkest part it's usually the outer part that people need the most uh, definition on or fill in so that's where I would go ahead and start with the brow let me do the other side really quickly start at the highest point and then just work it down and then come in and start filling in here and if you need to uh, you know, start making a little more of a shape or a harsher line or something, you can come in and do it after this. But you don't want, in a modern day 60s look, you don't want the eyebrow to look, you know, like a character. You want it to be a modern day brow. So I think you can keep it relatively strong, but also on uh, the realistic side as well. Let me do one more thing. I'm just gonna fill in this little brow. And one thing about brows, just so you know, Brows are tough because not everybody has brows that are even. Um, I find at least like 80% of the people I work on 
uh, the brows may be a little higher on one side or a little more plucked on the other, or there's more on one, there's less on the other. So getting to know how to do a good brow is really, really important. So that's our next step for our look. I wanna do one more thing before we start working on the eyeliner. And that is, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a highlighter, just with a small brush. I'm gonna take a whitish highlighter and I'm gonna come in just below the V there. And you always want to do this because what happens is it creates a highlight and a little bit of a contour with darkening of the brow and it's going to make the uh, eye pop out and give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional effect. Let's do the other side. Turn it this way a little bit. Blend that in and open your eyes up. There you go. We've done the eyeshadow, we've done the brows, and we've done the highlighter. And next we'll move on to doing liner.